Hi everybody and welcome to a new exciting video in the audio signal processing for machine learning series. Last time we looked at malfrequency sepstral coefficients from a theoretical standpoint. In this video I want to show you how you can extract MFCCs using Python and Librosa. So let's get started with this Jupyter notebook. So the first thing I want to do is just import a bunch of libraries that we'll be using. So I'll import Libreza, Libreza.display, ipython.display, uh, pyplot, and numpy. So let's do that. Next thing, we want to load uh, an audio file. So which file are we going to load? So it's a file that we you should be familiar with by now. It's a, a short passage of a piece from Claude's the Debussy. So we're talking about classical music here. Okay, so I'll do audio and then I have the file in, that's called Debussy.wav. Okay, so now first thing, let's play back this audio file in the Jupyter Notebook. So we'll do anipd.audio and then pass in the path to the file. Okay, and here we go. So let's listen to a little bit of this. Good. So the next thing that we want to do, we want to actually load the uh, the audio file using a Libreza. And so uh, again, this is something that we've done multiple times. So we'll take the signal and the sampling rate over here, and then we'll do a Libreza dot load, and then what we want to pass is the audio file over here. And um, yes, and so here we have the sampling rate and here we have the signal. So let's take a look at the uh, signal over here, at the shape of the signal. And as you can see, we have this amount of samples uh, in this uh, waveform. The next step for us is extracting MFCCs. So extract MFCCs. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, this is extremely simple in Librosa because we have a function that does that uh, almost for free for us. So MSCC is equal to Libreza.feature and then MFCC like this. And we want to pass in the signal, specify the number of MFCCs and we'll use like a traditional number which is equal to 13 and then specify the sampling rate like this. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so here we have the MFCCs. Now, now let's take a look at the uh, the shape of these MFCCs. And so this should be a bidimensional array or a matrix. And so we'll do MFCCs dot shape. And as you can see, we have the number of rows is equal to 13 and the number of columns that we have, or in other words, like the different frames is equal to 1000, almost 1300 uh, frames or discrete time points. Next, we want to visualize the MFCCs. So let's write visualize MFCCs. And so we can easily do this with a native function in Libreza that's called spec show. So let's get started. So we'll do a plot dot uh, figure as the first thing. And we want to specify the figure size of, yeah, of our figure. So we'll do a fig size and we'll set this equal to 25 by 10. Okay. Now we are going to be using the Libreza.display.specshow function. And this is a function that enables us to visualize any spectrogram like uh, feature. So we'll pass in as arguments the obviously the MFCCs. We want to specify that the x axis uh, is going to uh, have like time. And finally, we need to pass the sampling rate in. Now, this is going to be a heat map like uh, visualization. So we're going to have like some colors. And what we want to do is like having the ability to map these different colors to numerical values. So for that, we'll need a color bar. So we'll do a plot dot color bar and here uh, we have an argument called format and here we'll pass percentage plus 2f 
And the last thing is just showing the, um, the this visualization. So let's take a look at this and here we go. So here we have the visualization and as you can see on the x-axis we have uh, time and uh, like this Debussy musical passages a 30 second uh, long. And here on the y-axis we have the different uh, coefficients. So the different MFCC coefficients. And if you count, you'll see that we have 13 uh, coefficients, right? And at each point in this diagram, we have the value for a given MFCC, co uh, MFCC index at uh, a certain point in time. And here you have the the mapping between like the uh, the colors and the different numerical values. Next, we want to calculate the first and second derivatives of the MFCCs. We saw this already in the previous video and we can call these features delta and delta delta MFCCs and they are very important to tell us how the MFCCs change over time in an audio file. Okay. So first of all, yeah, let me just add a few of this so it becomes clear what I'm doing. And then let me just add a comment saying calculate delta and delta to MFCCs. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, this is, again, very simple because Libreza comes with a built-in function for uh, doing that. So we'll say delta MFCCs is equal to libreza.feature.delta delta. and here we just pass the MFCCs and for the delta to MFCCs we'll use the uh, very same function so it's libreza.feature.delta and we'll pass once again the MFCCs here, but we should specify a keyword argument called order. And here we'll say the order is equal to two. And so this is the second uh, derivative. Okay, yeah. So now let's take a look at the shape of this um, delta MFCCs, for example. So we'll do delta MFCCs dot shape. And as you can see, they have the very same shape that we had for MFCCs. And if you don't remember, if we do a MFCCs dot uh, shape, you can see, yes, so we have 13 uh, indexes and also like in the Delta MFCCs, because at the end of the day, we're just taking the first derivative, right? So 13 and then uh, the number of frames that we have is equal to uh, 1292. Now, let me visualize delta MFCCs and delta delta MFCCs. So how can we do that? Well, it's very simple. We just take like this piece of code here. Let's just get this. And we'll put this one here. And instead of MFCCs, we'll pass in delta uh, MFCCs over here. Let's do this. And so these are the delta MFCCs. And now let's do the very same thing, but with a delta, delta MFCCs. So we'll pass in the delta to MFCCs. And here you go. Okay. So here we have the original MFCCs. Here we have the first derivative of the MFCCs. And here the second uh, derivative of the MFCCs. The final thing that I want to show you guys is taking the MFCCs and the first and second derivatives of the MFCCs and co concatenating them together so that we have a unique audio uh, feature that's like quite comprehensive because we have the MFCCs and we also have information about how those MFCCs change over time thanks to the derivatives. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, this is very simple if we use NumPy. So we'll say that here we have, uh, yeah, let's call it uh, comprehensive <laughs> MFCCs. And here we'll do a NumPy.concatenate. And here we need to pass the three arrays that we wanna concatenate. So the first one is MFCCs and then we'll pass delta MFCCs and delta to MFCCs. And here we go. So now let's take a look at the shape of this comprehensive MFCCs audio feature. 
And not surprisingly, here we have that the number of rows, the first axis, is equal to 39. And that's because we basically are concatenating like 13 indexes like for each of the three uh, arrays, right? And so we get like a 39 here, whereas the number of columns remains unchanged. Great, by now you should be able to extract MFCCs and first and second derivative MFCCs using Python and Librezia. And you should also be able to visualize them using, yeah, SpecShow from Librezia. So in the next video, we'll be looking into uh, frequency domain audio features. So I guess that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If that's the case, please remember to leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I'll see you next time. Cheers.